What's up guys, Tate here and today we are doing another vlog type video. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I make my camera angle that I use or the camera mount that I use. So basically this is the helmet from the second round of the WFO promotions. Hair scramble series where my GoPro fell off. I never got to putting it back on, but um, here's the mount and it just goes right like that, right there. Um, the, the adhesive part doesn't uh, make contact with every single part of the helmet. So um, I think I just didn't have it clean enough when I originally mounted it. So the first step to uh, mounting uh, your helmet with a GoPro mount is to take alcohol swabs and just clean the entire surface that you want to um, put your mount on. And that's just gonna take all the, the dirt and stuff off that uh, accumulates on there and uh, it gets a nice clean surface. So the adhesive from the GoPro mount only makes contact with the material from the helmet. So the second thing, which is something I like to do is um, the, these tack wipes. Uh, this is um, a skin tack wipe, but it works anyways. Um, just uh, rub this on the surface of where you're mounting it. And this is just gonna make it really, really, really sticky. And that just uh, ensures that you're gonna have a good sticky surface. And, uh, oh yeah, that's already getting sticky. And um, there's no way that this mount's gonna come off. So yeah, you'll, you'll see uh, the camera fall off if it, uh, for some reason comes undone and it's easy to fix. I guess another thing I should mention is this is a, a flat mount. There's the curved ones and the flat ones. I am using the flat one. Um, also, you're gonna wanna buy one of these just straight on mounts specifically for this mount because it is, when you have it on there, I'll show you, but it is hard to get this piece off. So you just have to unhook your GoPro and rehook it back up every time, which does suck, but for the angle you get, it's worth it. So pretty much all you have to do is line this up, make sure it's centered, and then just press on there. Then you're going to want to wait a little while before you put uh, a GoPro on there. But yeah, that that tack, it, the skin tack stuff that I use, you don't have to use it. I strongly recommend it though because it definitely ensures that um, your GoPro won't fall off. And from having one fall off earlier in the season... I've done it for every single mount I've done since and haven't had any problems as of yet. So yeah, you just wanna press against it, make sure, make sure it, uh, it's nice and snug, press against there. So, um, there's your mount. You want to wait some time before you uh, before you attach a GoPro onto it, obviously. But essentially, um, that's where I mount my GoPro. Uh, I have the mic attached to me because my other camera, I left my SD card at my apartment. So um, basically how you want to wire your uh your mic which i'll take this off real quick 
here's the mic. So um, it's going to attach to your GoPro, and pretty much you just uh, undo. Here, hold on. One second. Um, pretty much what you do is you just undo all this padding throughout the helmet and just tuck the mic in there and then uh, it will go down and around and then um, the end of the helmet right here you just hook it to that mesh material and um, that's how I hook my mic up at least uh, you can experiment with it and get it the way you like it um, all mics are different so I guess it depends on the quality of mic you have the better the mic the further away it can be from your face but uh, again that mesh material kind of protects um, the mic from the wind so you don't have like the the wind bothering you but um, for examples on this mount uh, just look at pretty much all my YouTube videos from from this year uh, I love it because like I said, if it falls off, you'll see it fall off. Um, you're able to see the the um, the throttle, the clutch uh, cables, and everything. So you're able to see uh, your clutch work and all that stuff while you ride and race. So it's a great angle, one of the best angles you can get uh, from riding a dirt bike. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. But that's where I mount my GoPro. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.